J Bone here for Smash This Podcast. Switching gears here, folks. Uh, doing something a little new, a little different, um, and something that's gonna going to that I'm going to try to keep as a mainstay in 2018 and going forward for this channel. Um, it's music related. Uh, I, I've had uh, minimal success on this channel with my music related videos. Um, you know, some don't do so hot, some have done really well as far as numbers for this particular channel. So, but I've <laughs> I've run into a lot of different things lately that I want to talk about and I'm getting behind on stuff. So, I think going forward, what I'm going to do, instead of doing a ton of, you know, little stuff here and there, my goal here is to make a weekly or every other week, is that bi-weekly, whatever they call it, uh, video related to stuff that I want to talk about regarding music, which is usually something classic rock related, hard rock, heavy metal, okay? Um, majority of it. So, so this is going to be the first episode of J-Bone's Jacked Up Jukebox, okay? And... <laughs> Ignore the cat outside. Sorry, <laughs> she's <laughs> she's cuckoo tonight. Oh man, uh, try to get through this. Uh, but before we get into said topics that I've got lined up here to talk about, um, I want to take a moment to um, reflect on the passing of Dolores, and I, I apologize if I'm mispronouncing this name. Uh, Ori Orden, uh, lead singer of the Cranberries. So, uh, for talking about the passing of Dolores for a brief bit, we're going to light a candle for her. Come on. There we go. So, we light this. We light this for, um, we like this for Dolores, okay? Um, and I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, the Cranberries were my favorite band. But no, I they, they weren't my favorite band. But most of the music that I love comes from the 80s and 90s. Um, stuff I grew up on, you know? And, and she was one of those iconic female voices that really defined the... Um, first half of the 90s I'd say uh, you couldn't go anywhere without hearing the Cranberries music um, my particular favorite out of I mean it wasn't always my cup of tea really but um, one particular song I did like was Zombie it was heavy it was you know had a pop feel to it but it was heavy it was kind of grungy so you know identify I identified with that and um, dug it when it was on the radio, <clears throat> turned it up, whatever. And um, and I'm just reading an article article here from uh, Blabbermouth.net saying that she was about to do a collaboration with a metal band and re-record vocals for that song. And she passed away today or Monday. You probably read this after Monday, but. Um, shock um, there's no information here about her passing why or how she passed um, all I know is from what I'm reading here is that it was very sudden so um, just take a moment to um, reflect on her and we're going to have a moment of silence for her uh, rest in peace Dolores Thank you for recognizing that moment of silence with me. Um, all right, so let's 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 bring it up. Let's uh, so let's <laughs> let's say let's say cheers to Dolores. You know, may you be in a better place. Um, all right, let's 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 uh, let's bring this up. Bring the mood up here. 
talk about a handful of different topics I've got rolling here. Uh, talk a little bit about Torah Torah, uh, Spread Eagle, Judas Priest, and the Bullet Boys, and a former Tesla guitarist. And then we'll wrap up this episode. So yeah, we got a lot of little stuff to talk about here, so bear with me. Um, like I said, instead of doing a bunch of individual things, I'm just logging it in all, that, all that, in this first episode of J-Bone's Jacked Up Jukebox. And oh, what a jacked up jukebox it is this week. <laughs> so, let's talk about this band from down south. Um, it was a band that was in the first concert that I ever saw back in 89 Tora Tora is a band that I have not heard about in several years um, I had heard that they were still touring occasionally um, but that's about it um, then I found out that they did release some records uh, via FNA records uh, few years ago, handful of years ago, somewhere within the last 10 years or so. And now, uh, big news coming from Frontier Records. If you know my channel, you know I've talked about Frontier Records a lot within the last few years as far as releases, debuts, signings, all sorts of stuff. They are the ones that are signing all the, uh, everything from One Hit Wonders to very popular uh, pop, rock, um, hard rock, heavy metal bands from the 80s and the 90s. And, um, you know, bands that are getting back together for one-offs or signing a multi-deal contract, they're going to Frontier Records. Um, for example, L.A. Guns knocked it out of the park recently. Steelheart did great, amongst many others. And this, so this is one of a few that I'm going to talk about in this episode. Tora Tora to record new album in 2018 for a tentative release in 2019 via Frontier Records. That is awesome. I, I'm so excited about that. I love Tora Tora. Um, a good, if you've not listened to Tora Tora before and you're into like a good bluesy hard rock. Um, like a heavier, maybe a heavier skinner, you know, bluesier sound. I, I highly recommend um, Tora Tora for you. Love their stuff. Uh, they've always knocked it out of the park before. They had a few good releases back in high school, and then, you know, they, some of these bands, they fall off the map for a long time, then they make a comeback 20 years later. Well, this one is big time. And I can't wait to hear what these guys do. So, cheers to you, Tora Tora. Very excited about your new stuff to come out, uh, hopefully, a year from now. Another one. And that news, well, that news came out, like, at the end of last year. So, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm catching up, folks. Um, this one is news that came out just a few days ago about a week ago um, Spread Eagle is also going to be releasing new stuff in 2019 they just got signed to Frontier Music as well um, super excited about that love Spread Eagle their first two to a lot of ears out there as far as hard rock heavy metal are pretty obscure um, you know, they got lumped into the whole glam scene, and they were really were not glam. Um, they were pretty, as far as the, a, a band out of New York, it didn't get much grittier or heavier for hard rock slash heavy metal um, back in 1990 for this, uh, this band. Um, such a th their first one and I, I gave these a spin the other day and you know because I'll be honest I hadn't listened to them in a long time their first self-titled one spread eagle came out in 1990 and 
Open to the Public came out of uh, 1993, right after I graduated from high school. So, um, and I remember liking um, their first one more than the second one. But when, you know, and I hadn't, like I said, I hadn't given them a spin in like 20 years. Excuse me. And I listened to Open to the Public as their second one. Um, first and then I popped in the first one because I knew I remembered a lot of the first one couldn't remember the second one their second one musically is really good and I'm I'm, I'm still glad I got that one and it's there's some you know there's some heavy stuff in there but there's some real groovy stuff in there too just good groovy rock um, good melodic stuff and um, you know, it's it's different from their first one. Be musically, I'd say it's actually better. You know, um, so yeah, give that. A, I I uh, tell you guys, go give that one a spin again and look for new stuff from them coming in a year from now. Can't wait to hear it. Okay, next we're gonna bring it up another notch and talk a little bit about Judas Priest. They released a new video. Uh, well, a week or two ago, a uh, little, little over a week ago, a new track called Lightning Strike. It's for the new uh, CD coming out. Uh, when is the new studio release coming out? Where is it here? Um, well, shoot. <laughs> it's, it's coming out soon within the next few months I think I gotta look it up I'm sorry I'm not gonna look it up now and take time on here um, but the first video I think it comes out March or April don't quote me on that though um, the first video firepower love it I absolutely or excuse me lightning strike my bad it's <laughs> for the album firepower it's late on a Monday, and I have an alcoholic beverage, so just bear with me. Uh, <laughs> the new track, Lightning Strike. They, you know, I'll say this. They're, they're not reinventing the wheel or anything with this one. It's just a good, solid metal track that sounds like their stuff from um, the early 90s. What was, um, oh, jeez, what was that one that came out? Um, the one that came out when I was in high school can't think of it damn it kids don't get old you forget shit all the time <laughs> and to then to not feel so bad for forgetting shit all the time you have an alcoholic beverage you know? <laughs> that's what you do folks um, but yeah the new the new CD is coming out soon I'm stoked for it um, I really have not listened to much Judas Priest lately I'm gonna start giving it a few spins more often I'm excited for this new one they've got the new guitarist um, uh, Glenn what Glenn retired or whatever from the band so yeah this this band's got some new spunk behind it and uh, yeah, I advise you, go check out the new Judas Priest video, Lightning Strike. It's good stuff. You know, like I said, they're not reinventing the wheel, but as far as uh, Judas Priest music goes, man, Rob's killing it. He still sounds so good. And speaking of Rob, I want to take a moment to recognize this. I just found an article right before I was ready to start this. And I'm not going to read the whole thing or his quotes or anything, but um, just a touch on this. And I do, um, yeah, as I'm having a beverage. Um, but no, I do feel strongly about this because this does run in my family. Um, Judas Priest frontman Rob Helpford celebrating 32 years of being clean and sober. Um, hey, you know, uh, I, I come, like I said, I come from a family where that was an issue. Um, my mom fought that all her life and whenever I hear about somebody celebrating X amount of years of being clean and sober I 
I praise that. I think that's awesome, and I, I really think that's I think that's great. Um, I can't see too much more about that, but <clears throat> um, excuse me. But um, yeah, you know he's he's trying to he's trying to keep his career going, you know, and he's not uh, he's not a spring chicken anymore, folks. Says he became clean back in January of 1986. Wow. Wow. You folks remember 86? I barely do. Oh, it says here at the end of the article. Here we go. This answers my question from previous topic. Firepower is due out on March 23rd, 2018. There you go, folks. Go pick it up. You will not be sorry. Trust me on that. All right. So congrats, Rob. Go check out the new Judas Priest. Now, let's see. We talked about Torah Torah. We talked about Spread Eagle. Let's talk about good old Bullet Boys. They've got a new release coming out as well on March 23rd. Oof, looks like I'm spending some money on that, on that day. Uh, <laughs> this is another one, a new release coming out soon from Frontier Records. Uh, Bullet Boys called Front, no, excuse me, From Out of the Skies. From Out of the Skies, sorry. The font on the CD cover looked weird. Something distorted like I would use in my videos. <laughs> I've never used anything distorted in my videos. Um, and they released a new song called The Evil. And it's it, it took a couple spins, but it's growing on me. I like it. It's, you know, it's this band, what I'm excited for most, and I don't know if a lot of people know this. If you follow the band closely, you know. But I'm guessing most fans don't. This particular band between the guitarist, the bassist, and Mark. Now, there's been a recycling of drummers throughout the last 10-ish eh, years, close to 10 years. Um, the last time I saw these guys live was 2009, opening up a club way north of here in Appleton, Wisconsin. It was the first time that band played live together and I was just blown away by them and I hung out with them afterwards talked to them so cool the only one I didn't talk to was the drummer and he passed away a few years later um, and I I am his name is escaping me right now and I apologize but um, so yeah they've had a few drummers over the years I'm not sure who their current drummer is but, um, oh, Phil, you know what? Is it Phil Verone is the drummer? I think Phil Verone is the drummer in the video. Possibly. I gotta double check. Anyways, um, I dig the new song, and the new CD from Out of the Skies is out in March. So go get that. Um, so yeah, this and their last CD, uh, Elefante. Do I have it over here? I have it around here somewhere. It's stayed on my desk the last like several years. Well, it was here. Is that it? No. Well, anyways. Oh wait, here it is. Wait, is this it? <laughs> what are you doing? This CD. Go get this CD. Okay? The reason why I'm so excited about From Out of the Skies is because this one sounds so good. Now, this isn't even Frontier Records, but the fact that this band sounds this good, and this came out, when did this come out? Three years ago now. Between two and three years ago. Shut up, Oreo. <laughs> uh, Kitty's just a pain in the butt. That CD sounds so good. That's why I'm excited about this new one coming out. 
So yeah, if you haven't given the Bullet Boys a spin in a while, I highly advise you to. Um, any other... news about that one no okay so yeah I'll be following that one closely when it comes out probably gonna review it um, okay now this is something interesting that I found by accident like a week ago Tesla guitarist and then we'll wrap up this episode I don't want to drag this on forever Tesla guitarist Tommy Skio I'm gonna mess up this name. It's one I, this name I haven't said in years. Skioch? I think that's what Eddie Trunk pronounced it as in the interview when I heard the interview the other day because I was looking up stuff on him. Um, he's been gone from Tesla for several years, but he shut up. Sassy thing, you. Now she's gonna bust in here. Damn it, Oreo. On his Facebook page, he said he's working on new music and they put a few samples out there. So if you go to his Facebook page and look at his like posts and videos and stuff, you can hear a few samples of the new stuff. Now, I don't know when this is coming out, but it sounds good. And it I'll be honest, it sounds like classic Tesla, okay? So if you're a Tesla fan, go check that out. In fact, I'm going to go I'm going to go check out some of this stuff again cuz I haven't given it a spin in a while. And Tesla is another one of those that I hadn't listened to in a while. It's like, you know, and then you hear stuff like this and it's like, "Oh, man, why the hell doesn't he just get back together with the band? But, you know, stuff happens, you know? People move on. But but would I love to see him get back together with Tesla? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I really would. So it sounds like uh, Tommy's doing okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. It sounds like he fell off the wagon a few times in a few interviews that I've heard from. But, you know... He's, he's working on great music, so yeah, go give that a listen. And I will try to keep, I think I set up his page for notifications. So when I hear something new, something significant, um, I will try to keep you guys informed the best I can. So, that's it for this first episode of J-Bone's Jacked Up Jukebox right here on Smash This podcast um yeah like i said i'm gonna try to do this once a week either on a sunday or a monday maybe it, and it all depends on what i find what i hear what i listen to um try to do this once a week but you know if i don't find much and i want to combine stuff into like an every other week thing then that's my it might be what what it is you know I don't always hear stuff or news about these classic rock bands that I love all the time. I hear little things here and there, and um, we'll see. So, uh, like I said, that's it for this one. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, give it a sub, give the video a like, share it with your friends, and ring that bell for notifications so you can find out when more. Uh, you know, content like this hits the channel. So, uh, I'm J Bone, and you've been watching J Bone's Jacked Up Jukebox on Smash's podcast. Peace. See you down the road.